know what's amazing to me? You can name your kid anything you want. Isn't that incredible? There are no laws. There should be a couple of laws. None. You can literally name your kid anything. You can name your kid a name with no vowels if you want, like Pinsendleton. Just 40 Fs, that's his name. Go clean your room. I like to name my kid a whole phrase, you know, something like ladies and gentlemen. That would be a cool name for a kid. This is my son, ladies and gentlemen. Then when he gets out of hand, I get to go, ladies and gentlemen, please! But you gotta be careful what you name your kid. You do have to be careful because what happens is other kids in school are gonna make fun of them. They're gonna make fun of their name. And you don't have to give them a weird name because they can do it with any name. Kids are geniuses at that. Any name, they take it, they go, Louie Screwy, Joey Blowy, Mike, your mother's a dyke, whatever. They find a way, these kids. Any name, what's your name? Eric, you fucking asshole. See, just like that. Lightning speed these kids got. What's your name? Joe, eat a bag of shit, cunt face. You see, just like that. <laughs> My daughter is really something else, man. She's, she runs the house. She runs the whole house. She decides everything. Like, we were playing hide-and-seek the other day. We play hide-and-seek, and we play by her rules that she invented. And do you know why? Because she sucks at hide-and-seek. And so she covers it with this fucking ruse to level the playing field. And I gotta fucking pretend it's all that she's great. No, it's bullshit. Like, we're playing... Oh, fucking... I know she's a kid, but fucking listen. When it's my turn to hide, she tells me where to hide. She tells me where. She goes, hide in the closet, Papa. But you're gonna know where I... Hide in the closet! All right, fuck, I'll hide in the closet. Good, fine. Now I'm standing in the closet like an asshole. She comes in, I found you. She's like shitty about it. Like, I found you. And I'm like, wow. How did you figure out where you told me to fucking hide? And then when she hides, this is her hiding. She goes over to a wall and does this. She goes, that's it. There's nothing here. What the fuck is this? Like, this is some ninja invisibility crouch. And I gotta act like an idiot. I can't just walk in and go, yeah, you're there. Because she'll cry and shit her pants, right? So I gotta walk around like an asshole. Where is she? I have no idea. Where could she be? I'm making eye contact. I don't see her. It's amazing to me. The other day we're playing, this is how things have gotten in my house, okay? Here's a very good example of how, where it's gone. We're playing a version of hide and seek where my wife and I have to decide together where to look. She likes that. She's like, Mama, you tell Papa where to look. Okay, well, fine. So she's over there hiding like this, just in plain sight. And my wife and I, my wife's like, why don't you look under the bed? I'm like, okay, okay. <laughs> she's not there. And then she says, why don't you look in the linen closet? Okay, so I open the closet. She goes, that's not the linen closet. We don't put that in there anymore. All right, fucking Jesus. All right, I'll look in. So I look in that. Why would she be in that closet? That has shelves. She can't stand in a shelf. Well, maybe she's crawled in a shelf. Now we're having a fight about where to look for this fucking kid who's standing right there. She totally runs the house. We were at, I remember Halloween last year. A couple of days before Halloween, my wife comes up to me and she's like, we have to get you a cat costume. <laughs> no, no we don't, actually. <laughs> no, we do, because she thinks you're going to be a cat. I don't know. It's like she's, got a, she's a guy with a gun in the other room. That's what it's like. She's like, she thinks you're going to be a cat? I don't know how she got it in her head, but she's expecting to be a cat on Halloween. I was like, well, tell her to go fuck herself, because I'm not doing it. I'm not afraid of her. She's two. I'll fucking fight her. I could take her. I could beat the shit out of thousands of two-year-olds all day. Just walk around. 
They would never even gang up on me. They suck. I'm not afraid of her. So my wife decided that she wanted to get pregnant again. She decided it. And she, this is back in August. She told me, uh, you need to be in town next week. <laughs> Why? Because I'm getting, uh, you know, I'm ovulating. So. Like, not do you want another kid, just be in town. That's how she handles it. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going to, I don't want another kid. So fuck it. And she's like, all right. Next week, she starts blowing me, right? Now, she hasn't blown me in, Jesus, I don't know if I've ever been blown. That's how long it is. <laughs> She's blowing me on the day she's ovulating. I'm a fucking idiot. I'm like, yeah, you love it. Like, I think she digs me now. <laughs> fucking stupid. <laughs> so she's having another baby any day now. She's due, and uh, it's true. She's fucking, fucking the whole thing. And I'm like, okay. No, no, it's great. <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck it. That's really the attitude that keeps a family together. It's not, we love each other. It's, fuck it, man. Fuck it. Fuck it. Another kid. Fuck it. Why not? Let them all in. Good. Fuck it. <laughs> Here's the thing. I never, 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 never judge other parents now. I never do. I used to, but I never do. Like, you know when you see a mother in McDonald's or someplace or in a toy store and she's just melting down on her kid? She's like, shut up. I hate you. You're ugly. <laughs> <laughs> and people are standing around going, oh my goodness, she's a horrible mother. Well, guess what? Those people aren't fucking parents. They don't have kids. Because any parents who are in that store are thinking, what did that shitty kid do to that poor woman? <laughs> that poor woman. I wish I could help. Because you don't know, man. You don't know. Or like when you see a parent that seems to be negligent, like you're in, you see a parent in McDonald's with the kid and the parent's like, I can't take this shit anymore, and just like collapsed and all the shopping bags are just strewn everywhere. And the kid's happy, the kid's eating french fries. And the kid asks a question like, Mama, why is the sky blue? And she's like, just shut up and eat your french fries. And you think, what a terrible mother. Why doesn't she answer her child? When I have a child, I will answer all of their questions and open their minds to the wonders of the world. Well, guess what? You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You can't answer a kid's question. They don't accept any answer. A kid never goes, oh, thanks, I get it. They fucking never say that. They just keep coming, more questions. Why, why, why? So you don't even know who the fuck you are anymore at the end of the conversation. It's an insane deconstruction. It's amazing. This is my daughter the other day. She's like, Papa, why can't we go outside? Well, because it's raining. Why? Well, water's coming out of the sky. Why? Because it was in a cloud. Why? Well, clouds form when there's vapor. Why? I don't know. I don't know. That's, I don't know any more things. Those are all the things I know. Why? Because I'm stupid, okay? I'm stupid. Why? Well, because I didn't pay attention in school, okay? I went to school, but I didn't listen in class. Why? Because I was high all the time. I smoked too much pot. Why? Because my parents gave me no guidance. They didn't give a shit. Why? Because they fucked in a car and had me, and they resented me for taking their youth. Why? Because they had bad morals. They just had no compass. Why? Because they had shitty parents. It just keeps going like that. Why? Because fuck it, we're alone in the universe. Nobody gives a shit about us. I'm going to stop here to be polite to you for a second. But this goes on for hours and hours, and it gets so weird and abstract at the end. It's like, why? Well, because some things are and some things are not. Why? Well, because things that are not can't be. Why? Because then nothing wouldn't be. You can't have fucking nothing isn't. Everything is. Why? Because if nothing wasn't, there'd be fucking all kinds of shit that we don't like giant ants with top hats dancing around. But there's no room for all that shit. Why? I'll fuck you. Eat your french fries, you little shit. God damn it. Thank you very much, everybody. Good night. Thank you.